Hello, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about two lesser known LLM settings. You have likely heard about the LLM setting temperature, but have you heard of the two LLM settings top P and top K? Well, if not, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So what exactly do the LLM settings top P and top K do for you? For me to answer this clearly, let me first describe how an LLM selects the next word as it generates a text response. An LLM determines the next word using a combination of statistical probabilities and learned patterns from large data sets of text. In the example, with the output text, the sky is blank, the word blue has a 40% chance of being selected, and the word gray has a 30% chance of being selected, and so on and so on. The LLM looks at words that have come before the current position. This is what's called context. It uses this context to understand what makes sense as the next word based on patterns it has learned during training. For each possible next word, the model calculates a probability score indicating how likely each word is to come next. These probabilities are derived from patterns and relationships the LLM has learned from its training data. The three LLM settings that allow you to adjust how the LLM generates responses are temperature, top P, and top K. I covered temperature in the previous video. In summary, temperature adjusts the probability scores to make the model's output more predictable when setting a lower temperature or more creative when setting a higher temperature. So what exactly do top P and top K do for you? Well, for an LLM, top P controls the possible list of candidate words from which the next word can be sampled. Top P limits the words into the candidate pool that will be considered by summing the top word probabilities and it only considers word candidates whose collective sum is equal to or less than the top P setting value. In this first example shown, if the top P setting is 0.75, the LLM will only consider the first two words. In the second example shown, if the top P setting is 0.85, the LLM will consider only the first three words. So now that you understand top P, what is the top K setting? Well, like top P, top K also controls the candidate words from which the next word can be sampled, but it does it in a different way. Looking back at our example, top K considers a fixed number of the most likely words. So in this first example, with top K equal to three, only the first three words will be considered by the LLM. In the second example, with top K equal to five, only the first five words will be considered by the LLM. So hold on a minute, it's kind of confusing. So what exactly is the difference between temperature, top P, and top K. They all kind of seem like they do the same thing. Well, in summary, temperature scales the probabilities of all possible words that are in the candidate pool. Higher temperatures generate more random or creative results from the list of words in the candidate pool. Lower temperatures generate more consistent or deterministic results from the list of words in the candidate pool. In contrast, Top P and Top K modify the available list of words that are in the candidate pool. These words in the candidate pool are the only ones from which the next word can be sampled. Okay, feel free to check out my video on LLM temperature where I cover this LLM setting in more detail. Okay, so now you should understand what Top P and the Top K settings are used for and how they allow you to limit the candidate words your LLM will use when generating responses. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all my other videos in the ML AI Knowledge Concepts playlist, are listed in the YouTube description.
I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about the innovation with the cloud, the machine learning, AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go surfing, go climbing, get out and move your body. And if you do, tell me in the comments, I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day, thanks.